Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. It's tasting day again. Number 16, regular old tasting. So let's get through five of the recent things that I've made. So here we go, this is number one. This is the uh, porter that I made. It was a very basic porter. Uh, I also had some smoked malt in there. And yeah, it turned out to be a very basic beer. You can, uh, the smokiness really comes through when you first open it and you're like, oh, wow, that's really smoky. But then, it's not afterwards, so... There you go, figure that one out. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, it's nice and dark. It's This is a good starting point for a porter now, I reckon, so I reckon I'll start with this base and sort of trick it up a little bit next time to make something a little bit more interesting. I, in fact, it, it has got a lot better with time. If I'd uh, rated this like a month ago, I wouldn't have said it was boring and no good, but it's okay. It gets one thumb. It's, uh, it's a good start, but I can do better. Okay, number two. Now, this one is the um, Kid and Kilo... European lager that I made of Cooper's and the reason I did this one was that uh, I reckon it was the second recipe I ever made way back in the day after the one that you get that comes with the kit so this is uh, number two for me and it's got that sort of kit and kilo homebrewery twangy taste to it and everything but it's not it's it's yeah you know back then I thought it was the best thing ever and I can see how I did and you know I know better now but if you're getting into this this would be great it's um it's nice, so I'm going to give that one another one thumb as well. So yeah, that one that one takes me back, and I'm never going to make it again. So <laughs> there we go. That's the end of that. And Max has got a new ball, and he's very excited. Uh, it's a good boy. Okay, what's next? Ah, oh, yes, the Pilsner experiment. So one of these, I think it's that one, is spring water, and that one is tap water. So I don't, I'm going to just get Dog over here to go away and open the bottles and give them back to me, and I'm not going to know which one's which. So what is this? I don't know. It could be anything. And there's the other one. So, let's see which one I like the best. And I'm going to pour them out. And the first thing I'm noticing is that this is a very dark style Pilsner. It's not kind of what I really was hoping for for this particular experiment. I was hoping for a nice, light, fluffy Pilsner. They look identical. This, all this light and stuff can't tell me the difference between them. So, I'll just try this one. Yep, it's quite a bitter Pilsner as well. Some um, European Pilsner is what it was labelled. It was a... Uh, what the local store calls a wet pack with um, uh, it's kind of like a an extract all in one everything you need kind of thing and you boil it for an hour but anyway it's uh yeah I guess it's it's quite a dark pilsner very bitter and I guess I like that one better so which one's that dog I can't really tell the difference between them but ah okay turns out I picked the tap water one honestly I could barely tell the difference but I picked the tap water one so one thumb each one thumb each for that one okay now what do we got? Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the Sauvignon Blago, which is my kiwi fruit and oak pilsner, I guess. And there it is. I don't know if you can tell. It's got kind of a slightly gross, greeny tinge to it, which is so, sort of disturbing when you pour it out. I don't know if you can quite see it there. And, well, the taste, it, it's its probably the fluffiest, nicest pilsner I've made. But, um, unfortunately, I think the kiwi fruit wasn't quite ripe or something because it's got a bit of a, a non-ripe fruit tasteness to it so i reckon that one's one thumb as well uh yeah it could do better if i had a uh, riper fruit i reckon that's the theory on that one anyway so this is uh last one for today this is my oktoberfest beer and look at that, that one's pretty good yeah that's quite nice this one came out is is really quite dry actually and uh i used amber malt in it I reckon that's given it its dryness, but it's also given it this biscuity aftertaste that it just kind of doesn't really need. So, oh, this is the Hoptoberfest as well. The hops haven't ruined it. The hops are, uh, they're not all that present. So that, oh, Jonah's picked up Max's bone. That's good. And oh, it looks like he's trying to call somebody on the bone phone. Anyway, um, yeah, no, this, this this one's all right. But instead of Amber, I'd crystal next time. That one gets one thumb up as well. Yeah, I guess that's all sorts of one thumbs all around and make it sound worse than it was. They're all pretty good. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Next one will be Brewdog again.